Good morning, everyone. We pray that God's grace will be with us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We ask that God will help us to recognize his goodness and that he will lead us along by the power of his Holy Spirit, the right path. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, grant that, schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool. Frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinance he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask a simple question. 
Is there anyone here who has not seen The Wizard of Oz? Okay, just checking. All right, just checking. Good. So, you know there's a famous scene, uh, well, the whole movie's famous, I guess. We can probably tell the whole story by memory. But there's one point where Dorothy comes to a crossroads, right? And the scarecrow is up there, and she's talking to Toto, and she says, well, Toto, I don't know which way we're supposed to go. Should we go that way or should we go that way? And then she hears a voice that says, well, some people go that way. And she's like looking around. Like, and then she hears a voice that says, well, some people go that way. And she's looking around, who said that? And then the voice says, the scarecrow, and some people go both ways. And then she realizes who's talking to her, and so she starts a conversation with the scarecrow. And it's, it's cute and it's funny because it's crazy, right? Because you can't go both ways, you can't. And yet we try to do it all the time. God has laid out the way for, of grace for us. And we hear that uh, in the first reading especially where Moses is telling the people, here are the laws and the statutes that God wants us to live by. So here's your choice. Choose life or choose death. Choose this way or that way. And yet we're constantly trying to go both ways because we want to be a people of grace. We want to be a people who who know and who live by God's word and his statutes and decrees and commandments. And yet, so often we kind of wander off on this other way. We're saying we're going this way, but we're going over here. And we take detours. Because, of course, you know the way to heaven is a straight line. It is a straight line. The shortest point between, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? And that's what God has given us. And yet, we love to take detours and turns and U-turns and curly cues and get caught in cul-de-sacs and all these crazy kinds of things that distract us from getting to our ultimate goal of heaven. We try to go both ways. And you know, we can't have it both ways. It doesn't work, except by God's grace. Because every time we take one of those detours, God is always urging us on through his Holy Spirit to get back on that straight line that takes us to heaven. He's constantly offering us his mercy. He's constantly offering his forgiveness. He's constantly offering us the light that guides us to Christ. That's always available to us. It's always ours. And so we can choose the way to life. As Moses says, we can choose the way that will guide us to heaven. We can choose the way of discipleship. And there is nothing easy about discipleship. It is sometimes hard. It is sometimes difficult. It is sometimes challenging. It is sometimes can feel like a burden. The fact of the matter is, is that straight line to heaven has got its potholes, it's got its difficulties, it's got its cracks, but it is straight. And God invites us to walk a straight line to be with him. Let's offer our prayers and petitions. Someone's hiding my notes here. <laughs> We pray that God will bless us so that we may walk that straight line to heaven. We pray to the Lord, 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 hear our prayer. That during this season of Lent, we may turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Jesus tells us about teaching others to obey his word. And so we ask that God will inspire us and give us the courage always to speak the truth with gentleness and charity. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That God will guide our parish always, that we may be led by the Spirit. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for people in need, especially those in our own country who have suffered from these tornadoes over the last few days and other natural disasters. And we pray for the people who are suffering because of unnatural disasters in Ukraine, in our own communities, some even in their own homes, that they may know peace once again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for those who are sick, who seek God's healing, and for those who have died, that they may today wear the crown of glory in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Mass intention today, for the healing of Mary Scudella, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and peace, we give you thanks and praise, for you show us the way. Help us, Lord, always to open our eyes, our hearts, and our souls, so that that light may always be our guide. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food and drink, and blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. Amen. O Lord, accept the prayers of your people along with these sacrificial offerings and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of our hearts, that freed from disordered affections, we may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and glorious resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with priests, deacons, religious men and women, seminarians, and all who seek you, 
with a sincere heart. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, Saint George, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Guided by God's Holy Spirit, we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the joyful hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, you say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We offer one another sign of Christ's love and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite the folks at home to take a moment to make an act of spiritual communion.
Let us pray. O Lord, may the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this Mass has ended. We go in peace. Amen. Thanks be to God. So as Ernie Banks used to say, let's play two. Well, tomorrow we're going to have a double header. We'll have Mass as usual at uh, 8.15, but at 9.15 we're going to be having the school children and their grandparents or special uh, people in their life uh, joining us for Mass at 9.15. So if you feel like sleeping in a little bit tomorrow, you're welcome to join us for that Mass too. Um, and either way, I hope that it's a blessed day. I hope that this is a good way for you to take that straight path. <laughs>